Good afternoon, YTPC, North East Pipe UK here. I hope you're all well. Um, before I start talking about the tobacco I'm going to smoke today, um, I just thought I would do a recap from the Gotham cigar that I smoked last night. Um, I sort of mentioned in the video I wasn't sure if, if it was hand rolled, machined, boxed, whatever. Uh, but obviously I was looking at the label today and it is handmade Nicaraguan so yeah again fantastic smoking cigar and no nicotine hit strangely enough um, I mean it did last us quite a while um, like I mentioned during the video I actually started smoking it when the movie Jaws started and uh, I pretty much finished it when uh, he popped out the water so yeah really really long smoke so anyway today I'm going to be smoking the Peterson 150 this is the one that I managed to pick up for 50 pounds in a small tobacconist's in Newcastle and obviously I had the problems with the lacquered finish as you can see there certainly see it there and um, yeah they bubbled up and I was a little bit apprehensive with the Dracula because I bought it from the same place but luckily the Dracula has survived it's not shown any blemishes or any problems whatsoever but again this is like a 150 shape I think it is and um, yeah I cannot complain 50 quid it smokes like a champ so I wasn't going to bother trying to send it back and you know go through the whole process of shipping off shipping back all the palaver just smoke the damn thing so that's what it's there for so anyway tobacco wise well today you'll have seen from the photograph it's the Goweth Hogarth seasonal reserve so I've seen been seeing this one cropping up on Instagram and um, a couple of YouTube vids so I was putting an order in for something else and I happened to spot that they had it in stock so I thought well I'll give it a go and um, as you know I'm a bit iffy with aromatics so chances are I'll give it a go just for a review purpose and um, you never know I might enjoy it if not I'm pretty sure I can send this on to somebody so it's no great hardship really so if some, somebody can of get hold of this and I don't like it maybe I can get it sent out so we'll give it a try and see what it's like I'll get it open. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Well. Straight away, that's really, really, it's like walking into a sweet shop. Mm. You know, it smells like sort of hubba bubba chewing gum. Cherry hubba bubba, straight in there. Oh, it's really strong. Might not be cherry in there, but that's what it smells like. I haven't really looked on any reviews of it, I'm going in blind. I did notice an aromatic because, like I say, I've noticed a couple of people have put on. And with it being a seasonal blend, they always tend to be an aromatic anyway. Oh, but I must admit, that does smell really nice. Oh. and there we go that's what it looks like in the tin mm. Mm. a bit moist I'll probably do it some drying time but I'm going to fire straight in there right out the tin oh, that smell is amazing but we've all been there, haven't we? We've all smelled something that is absolutely out of this world. And then when it comes to actually smoking it, it tastes like shit. But yeah, it's 
quite a nice cut on that. Try and not get up my nose. Um, reminds us a little bit of Connoisseur's Choice. So, definitely got that sweet thing going on there. I put a filter in this, finally got around to buying some filters. So let's give it a go, see what we think. Excuse me. <coughs> it's actually that strong that's making the sneeze. <laughs> it's unusual because I'm usually all right with uh, strong scents, but yeah. It's not overpowering. There is some sweetness in the aftertaste of the tobacco, but it's not, compared to last week's Captain Black, it's not got that sort of acidic chemical aftertaste to it. I'm sort of getting that cough lozenge hubba bubba aftertaste. Really nice mild sweetness coming on the retro here. Like I say, that definitely getting that sort of like a, a Hall's cherry throat lozenge. Definite flavour in the mouth, but retro here, it's like a really nice mild fruit cake. Not bad actually. Definitely going to need drying time on this. Not bad. I've had some of the Peterson 
sort of Christmas blends in the past. And again, I thought their came was really sort of overpowering and a bit obnoxious, but I have to say, this isn't bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna leave this tin open, let that dry, and um, might persevere with this one, give it a go. Should have let it dry. Well, I think I'll leave it there. Might do another video on this after I've had uh, a few bowls of it. See if, um, if I'm still in the same mindset. I've just had a big dinner. So again, this is like a nice alternative to a sweet because again like I say it's got some really nice flavours going on. Yeah. Not bad. Again after smoking the Captain Black last week. This is far, far better. So yeah, there you go. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you're having a great start to the weekend. And um, I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.